Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin Eno, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the really neat effect that you can get in your watercolor paintings by just adding ordinary salt. So grab your paints and some salt, and let's get started. So I'll just tell you what I'm working with here for this little salt experiment. I'm using 100% cotton paper because that's what I would generally use. So it makes sense to do the little test on that. Um, I have three different salts. I have my table salt, which is really, really fine. I have some fine grain uh, sea salt and I have some coarser grain sea salt. You can get it a lot coarser than this, but they're really big chunks. So I thought this would be ideal hopefully so basically what happens when you put salt on um, watercolor wet watercolor is uh, salt is hydrolyphic meaning it attracts moisture if you've ever had bath salts in your bathroom and they've kind of clumped up that's because it, they've drawn in moisture and kind of melted all together so that's the principle here so when you put salt on your watercolor it draws up the water along with the pigment and you get some really kind of cool results. So I want to do, um, I want to test rather the three different salts and I want to try it on a really wet background, um, a background with just a sheen and then a background that's almost dry, still a little damp. So I'm just going to wet my brush and I'm going to pre-wet the top section because I want that one to stay wet the longest okay so i'm just going to just put a light wash on a uh, light water wash on that to start and that's quite wet and i'm going to start at the bottom because i want that one to be the driest so i've just got a mix of kind of a turquoisey blue here and I'll just put this down. Could stand a little more water. So I want this one just to be damp by the time we get to put salt on it. So I'll do this one first. Like so. And then the, the next blah blah blah. The next one I just want to have a little bit of sheen by the time we get to it. Oh, that's going to bleed into that. It did not want that to happen. It's okay. No worries. Okay, so that one I just... I'll put a little more water on that so it's not so dry when we get to it. This paper soaks it up so fast. Just add a little bit more water. I'm trying to keep the values of the paint the same on all of them, so. Okay, and then the top one I want wet. Okay, that ought to do it. Just gonna do another little brush on that one. Okay, so the top one is quite wet. So we'll start with the table salt. I'll sprinkle it around and then I'll do like a little clump over there. And then the fine sea salt. And then a clump here. And then the coarse. Okay. Now, I can't lift my paper, unfortunately. Well, maybe I can to see if this just has a sheen. 
I'll let it sit a little bit longer. Okay, so the second one has a little bit of sheen to it now. It's not sopping wet, so I'll start with the table salt. And then a clump there. Then the fine sea salt. And then the coarse sea salt. This one's a little harder to drop down. Okay, now the bottom one has no sheen to it, so it's just a little damp. So I'll throw the salt down on that one now. And then finally the course. It's kind of bouncing around a bit there, but that's okay. Okay, so now we can't touch it until it is absolutely completely dry. Um, and trust me on that, I've done this um, in a few other little tests and tried to brush it off too soon and all it does is mush the paint around and you don't get the effect you'd probably be looking for. So I will have patience and let this dry completely and then we'll see what we end up with. So I'll see you in a few. So once it was completely dry, I brushed off all the salt and this is what I was left with. So I really think um, you can get some great effects using this method and I'm gonna try it in a few paintings, definitely. A couple things I wanted to point out. Um, what I get from this is uh, the table salt reacted the most, went out the furthest, and also reacted um, on all three levels of wetness. Now, my assumption is that it's because of the size of the granules. I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that um, it was table salt versus sea salt. So you can see here on the one that was just damp, no reaction on the coarse, coarse granules, um, a tiny little bit of reaction there, and s the most reaction on the table salt. So that tells me that the, the granule size really does make a difference. So that's it for today, guys. And please be sure to join me in my next one where I'll be using the salt technique on a pretty cool painting. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like and share and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also join me over on Instagram. I'd love to see you there. So take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.